coffee shop on church grounds deemed blasphemy. So <laughs> this is just a funny little story. Um, no. On October 21st, in an episode of the radio show Liveline, oh, this happens in Ireland, by the way, an upset caller complained about a blasphemous mobile coffee shop that was set up on local church grounds. According to the show, the coffee shop trailer was set up inside the railings of the St. Peter's Church in um, Fibsboro, Ireland. The host's show, the show's host, Joe Duffy, also read an email addressed to the St. Peter's Church from an upset parishioner. The scriptures are clear in this matter, the email stated, adding, do not turn my father's home into a marketplace. It's a biblical reference. Um, another upset caller agreed, saying it's sacrilege to the typical Catholic, adding that you don't have to be a theolo theologian to know it. Quote, it is pure blasphemy. It's as simple as that. Meanwhile, the owner of the coffee shop responded, adding that the parish invited him and that, in fact, his shop helps finance the church's maintenance. Apparently, he's also a lifelong Catholic. <laughs> Okay, explain what's the issue because I thought this is an anti-coffee thing. This is an anti-selling thing. I thought that, I thought this is going to be a Mormon church somewhere in the United States because they're anti-coffee. Catholics no, no, no. are not against coffee. No. Okay. So. So. First of all, I love <laughs> the picture yeah. that we chose for this new story. Like, yeah, good. Jesus <laughs> drinking a cup of coffee. It's so good. <laughs> so. Do you remember the story in the Bible where I can't remember exactly? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Him, but Jesus, but Jesus starts... goes to the temple and he sees that the temple has been set up as a marketplace, and there's people and there's people gambling and there's people selling their wares, and they just turned it into a shopping mall. And he gets outraged, and it's one of the few times where you see Jesus I... lose his shit in the Bible, and he starts throwing people stuff around he starts turning people over i think he almost gets arrested because he's so what outraged what have a few times he's a man desecrated he's he's they, they, they've they've desecrated the sanctity of his father of yahweh's home by just turning it into okay, a shopping guys, mall this is a place for I, reverence this is the home of this is the home of your creator you can't just do this so they're saying that they they they're doing that you're turning it into a marketplace all right, guys, I, Jesus acts like a madman in the New Testament, okay? Anybody who says, like, oh, the Old Testament is violent, but Jesus is kind of like a hippy-dippy, um, nice, lovey-dovey kind of guy in the New Testament, they have not read the goddamn Bible. He's, like, he starts chasing after. People are just sitting around and selling stuff, and he he whips them. He turns their table, and he whips people. Like, this, this man should be arrested. Like, what the hell is wrong with you, okay? So there's there's that he curses it like one of the few times where he acts insane. Excuse me, Jesus curses a tree, a goddamn tree, because it didn't have the fruits that he wanted, even though it was in the season for it. The tree got cursed forever because it didn't have the fruits that Jesus wanted. This guy is insane. This guy is insane. This is the same guy that tells that you have to tear your eye out. If you look at a woman and get horny, you should gouge your eyes out and throw it away. That's what this guy teaches. <laughs> Why is this like, this is the guy that says that I'm here to bring, to, to bring conflict by this, bring sword and fight. He says, he specifically says that I'm not here to bring peace. Okay, like how is how is Jesus known for a bringer of a peace of the peaceful religion when he specifically spells it out in the Bible? Says, "I'm not here to bring peace. I'm here to bring the sword." That's what he says. He says, "I'm here to turn a, a daughter against a mother, a, a son against a father." That's what he says. And then in the Book of Revelation, he has a sword coming out of his goddamn mouth. All right, and he, he burns people alive. like what he uh, it can't get more insanely violent than Jesus. What are you talking about? How did <laughs> can top can people tell me that how did Jesus got a reputation from being for being peaceful and uh, hippy dippy like a 
I don't understand. I don't understand how he might. Do people not read their Bible? Isn't insane. Okay. Let alone, but... let alone the fact that he, in, in Christianity, you learn that Jesus and Yahweh are the same goddamn thing. So all the crap he did in the Old Testament was Jesus. All right, let's go on. Well, what's, it makes me laugh so hard because every time you talk about Jesus cursing that tree, you start yelling like that. <laughs> every time. You're like, it wasn't even the season, but he cursed the tree. <laughs> oh, and also time, he's racist. It's so funny. And he's racist. You know the whole, the story, the parable of the Good Samaritan? Yeah. Do people, everybody thinks that, oh, so lovely, such a nice story. He's, that's the story of Jesus being racist. That's the story of Jesus saying, look, even Samaritans, even the dirty Samaritans are capable of doing a good thing. That's what Jesus was saying. Like, you can, you can expect good things from the un most unusual of places. And by the most unusual of places, I'm speaking of a Samaritan. Can you imagine a Samaritan doing a good thing? I mean, obviously not. This is a parable. It can't happen in real life. But the point <laughs> of the parable is that you should expect that even Samaritans could even, you know, it's more. So he's a racist as well. Anyways, anyways, anyways. Well, okay, here's not going back to the story. Sorry, I got sidetracked. Um, I just had to. <laughs> It just, it just got locked in that. <laughs> when we say on church grounds, to go back to the story, does the church actually own that ground, or is this just near the church? It, uh, it, it made it seem as if there's like, um, it's, it's on church grounds. It's like it's fenced off. Like there's a fence around okay, the church, so and it's within that. It, that's what it sounded like. So why can't they just say like, get off our like property, like? do they not have to was if he's already there didn't have to get permission to be able to make something on church property like i don't yeah. understand yeah like, in why fact, are they he, complaining? Like, he pays some of his profits to the church like he's fine basically like, helped wait like offsetting the cost of the church's maintenance because so they had an people agreement. aren't going to church they're not getting donations churches everywhere are renting out their spaces because they have to find a way to make an income the church is already turning into a marketplace their churches in america turn into okay. b b's maybe i wasn't paying attention can you make me understand he signed an agreement with the church to come and build a coffee shop on their church ground and share profit with them and they signed everything and everything was Fine, and now they're calling him blasphemous. No, no it's not the coffee. church; it's some random parishioners. It, oh, it, it, random it's a little. Parishioners. It's like a little mobile trailer that he came up, parked, set up a little coffee thing. Right. Yeah. It's actually okay, so benefiting it's the... the church. And there, yeah, to be yeah, fair, yeah. there were lots of Catholics who also called in and said, "Like, I like it. Like, it encourages community and fellowship. What's more Catholic than that?" I mean, how are they supposed to like get their coffee? Then they're supposed to get coffee for free. I mean, I don't understand. But doesn't the church sell stuff? Doesn't the church like like I went to Catholic churches? They give, they sell you stuff. They sell yes. you crosses. They sell you Mother Mary necklaces. They sell you these coins, mem memorabilia so, coin. So if they're against, like, I mean, every Catholic church I've been to, actually, now that I remember, every single Catholic church I've been to, they sell you Jesusy stuff. They sell you Jesusy stuff. I mean, well, the ones I right. have been to. So how is this like, oh, you can't sell stuff on, you can't sell coffee on church ground. Well, what about the church owned merchandise? Wait, go on. So you've probably seen that at every Catholic church because you're like a tourist going to the most famous cat, famous yeah. Catholic churches. Like that's not the case in most Catholic churches. Let, let me just be clear. Oh, okay. But in the famous Catholic churches where it is a destination or a pe where people actually take pilgrimages to, yes, they, they, they sell little souvenirs. And in fact, the, the host of the show um, tried to use that as a rebuttal against one of these callers who was like, this is, this is blasphemy. <laughs> um, and um, so he was like saying that the Vatican and other churches, like the Vatican itself has shops on its premises. And mm. the caller responded, those are, those are holy. Those are sacrosanct. Like, those are fine. Like okay, totally, well, they like, sell holy coffee. They, they sell they so sell this... souvenirs. What are you talking about? She's like, no, 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 no. 
No, no. <laughs> oh, does not compute. Yeah. Like... Does not compute. Okay, so if you if you can sell holy stuff, just use holy make use holy water to make coffee. You've been a barista before. Can you, Susanna? Is that is that possible? Can you just sell coffee with holy water? And we're like, well, I'm selling holy coffee. Well, so that holy should be water fine as well. is cold. Well, you That'd can heat so it up. Yeah. Wait, does it lose it? Does the holiness evaporate if you boil it? Holy water? I don't know. Okay. I mean, I know it's cold. This is a good question. Water can be boiled. <laughs> Just make coffee with holy water. That could be an interesting concept. I, don't... I mean, I actually, I that's, that, that no, would that's, be... That's, Wait, like, that's 10 times more that... blasphemous. Um... I mean, I was going to say that might, it might be a health hazard, given that holy water is filled with, actually, yeah, I, I filled with diseases, but it should be fine if you boil it. I don't know. <laughs> it's poop water, they isn't probably it? It's put in holy water. In it. I would imagine they put no, they chemicals don't. in it to purify. I don't holy know. Holy water is filled with feces. That's what studies show. What are you show. talking about? Like, yeah, they found human feces in a lot of holy water at catholic church you didn't see that study <laughs> like people don't in wash their hands font? yeah yeah in that whole thing yeah yeah when people go touch and then to do the thing you're spreading poop on oh, your so body you're just talking about the like the little fountain at the beginning okay because there's a difference between like yeah. a full baptismal i don't know there's a word for stuff. it versus okay yeah okay anyway, you know that kind of makes sense don't don't touch that guy. If you touch it, make sure you don't. If you touch holy water in a Catholic church, make sure you go wash your hand after. And don't do that. Like you're getting. You, if you touch that and then do do the whole Trinity. This, what is this called? The thing. The sign of do, the cross. You guys, yeah, the sign of the cross. Then you're getting poop on your face. Make well, sure you don't people, touch your eye. What some people do, it's even worse. So they make a little cross with their fingers, and then they go on their mm. forehead. They go on their like their their mouth. And then they go on their chest. So yeah. sometimes it's even getting, getting on people's mouths. Yeah, poop on your mouth now when you do that. <laughs> Wait, I just want to end this segment with shoot. This is a comment from D. Man, F that tree. <laughs> <laughs> do people know this story, right? I hope yeah. so. Oh, yeah. But oh, oh, Jesus also made a whole bunch of pigs commit mass suicide. Do you know that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you yelling about how jesus is an asshole is one of the funniest things to me because you get so heated about it i ghost when you saying that sounds like a shitty situation for me literally yes thank you for telling us hey guys if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy cali you know like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.